So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get a fully permanent invisible torso in GTA 5 Online after the patch of 1.67 and the new, well, there's not any DLCs yet, but after the December update. So you will be able to get this after the new DLC if you're watching it before or even after, it will still be working. So it will be 100% permanent and this method right here does not require a transfer glitch which means you're not going to be losing any of your current outfits doing this method right here. So you'll be able to keep all your outfits and the invisible torso is 100% permanent. But if you want to join my newly modded account giveaway, then all you got to do is drop a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then comment the word giveaway. I'm giving away a really like big stack account this month. I'm going to be announcing the winner on January 1st on one of my live streams. So make sure you join my live stream on January 1st. And yeah, I think I said enough. Let's get straight to it. So the first thing which you will have to do is make your way to any clothing store on the map and you will have to equip the outfit that you want to have the visible torso on. Now note that you won't be able to change anything on the outfit after the glitch is done so equip everything you want to equip on the outfit before starting it out. I'm going to be doing it on the blue joggers. First thing you will do once you've done that go to utility vest and equip the peach plate carrier. This one out here number 43. Once you've equipped this just save this outfit in any of your slots. And like I said, this is not a transfer glitch, so you won't be losing any of your current outfits doing this right here. And it will be 100% permitted for normal lobbies and also uh, jobs and all of that. Just make sure you do watch the entire video, that way you don't miss out on how to do it. Equip any heist coveralls. So just equip any of these. So like I said, make sure you do watch the entire video, because a lot of people do be skipping quite a lot of parts in the video. So make sure you don't do that. Uh, like I'm sure there will probably be a comment saying that it's not actually permanent But if you did watch the entire video, you would know that it is 100% permanent and at the end of the video I will show you a way to actually make it permanent in normal lobby So make sure you do watch the video until the end that way, you know You don't miss out on that part right there because you probably will see like a comment saying um, I don't know something among like uh, I just did a glitch that took 10 minutes and it's not uh, fully permanent but like I said that person will probably come to that they didn't even watch the whole video so um, yeah make sure you do watch it till the end so what you will have to do is do the telescope glitch run by the telescope spam right in the d-pad and if your character didn't look it means it worked and after equip the outfit you will just saved and then just you will see that you have the gas mask appear onto this outfit right here now once done that what you will have to do you will have to save this outfit now if you're doing this like me at the pier instead of the like your apartment you could do this in your apartment by the way, if you are enjoying this video, make sure you do drop a like on it. If this method did work for you, make sure you comment it down below so other people trying this out also do know that the invisible torso glitch does still work and they could go ahead and get it themselves. Now make your way to your pieces, equip the first one and then the second one. Now you're going to have to run by this vending machine right here. You're going to have to buy a soda. After you've done that, you're going to quickly have to go into browse outfits to your left. So like I said, you go inside the ammunition, you buy the first earpiece, and then you go to the second earpiece and you buy that as well. Then you go to the vending machine, and so your hood goes down, and once your hood went down, you go to save the outfit. Make sure you do this quickly, because the hood does go back up in about 5-10 seconds. Now once you've saved this, what you'll have to do is you'll need to make your way right over here to shoes. And you will need to equip any shoes of your choice. So uh, just like any shoes that you want doesn't really matter which ones you uh, choose you just go right over here um, and by the way uh, as you can see you do have this like black t-shirt but I will show you how to remove this and there's actually a way easier method maybe some videos you watched um, they showed a different method but shout out to one of my subscribers because one of my subscribers actually commented on one of my videos so there's a way easier way to remove this black shirt right here and it's actually very easy what you have to do is you need to walk right over here at the tops so go to utility vest now equip the utility vest and put no utility vest. As you can see, the black t-shirt is gone. The older method was way longer and this one's way shorter. Now you have this invisible torso. You can add pretty much anything to it. Now keep watching the video because the glitch is not done. Now if you stop watching the video right now and back out into story mode, well, it will not be permanent. It will go back to a black t-shirt. So now what I'll show you is how you can actually keep it permanent. Um, by the way, you can, like, while you're on this right here, I highly recommend you add some extra things to the outfit. So if you want to add, like, a helmet to the outfit, you can do that. If you want to add, like, um, maybe perhaps a gas mask or something like that, you could do that right now. So 
So now the requirements for this right here to for this part of the video, you will need a little bit more requirements. No, you're not gonna need two consoles or transfer glitch on that. What you will need for this part right here is gonna be a Kosatka. So make sure you do have a submarine for this part right here to actually make it fully invisible. As you can see, I put the mask on and all of that. And I ended up actually putting uh, this gas mask on top as well. Like just how you've seen in the thumbnail, I do think it looks pretty cool. So like I said, you will need a Kosatka and you will need the scuba outfits. I'm not sure if you need to buy that or no. I'm pretty sure it does come with a submarine on its own. So now once you've done everything on the outfit, everything you want to add to it or whatever with the telescope glitch, you'll have to save the outfit and then just back out of the job using your phone. So very simple. You just save the outfit. And by the way, the little thing in the middle, you can't remove that, unfortunately. But uh, as you can see, it's fully invisible. So now you just back out with your phone. Like I said, keep watching the video. I'm going to show you right now on how to keep it permanent in normal lobby. So at the moment, it is permanent in jobs, but not permanent in lobby. So I'll show you how to make it permanent in a lobby. As you can see, when you load back in, you will see that you have a black t-shirt. You know, you equip it again. It's still a black t-shirt. Um, it keeps going to the black t-shirt. That is normal. Now, let me show you how you do this. First, you have to go to services. You will have to call out your Kosatka. Now, uh, you don't have to make your way there. All you have to do is open your interaction menu and set your location to Kosatka if you do have a living quarters there. And if you don't, uh, you could just swim there or something. But I highly recommend you just do that. Just set it as your last location, uh, Kosatka. That way you will spawn there. Now, once you have done that, just change sessions so you can spawn there. By the way, if you do have any questions during this video, make sure you leave a comment down below. So, for example, if you have a question like, I don't know, you, for example, you you go like, uh, hey, I don't fire, I don't understand this part right here at 4:29. Um, does it work for me? Just let me know in the comments. I will try to reply to every comment. So if something doesn't work for you, like just an example, just let me know. I'll help you out, or I'll try my best to help you out. And um, yeah, so as you can see, I have the black T-shirt on. What you'll have to do, you need to go to the scuba place. So it's usually there's like three different parts of the submarine where you can actually find these. So I think one on the first floor and one on the floor below. So you have to go on this floor. It's not on this floor right here. You'll have to go on the second floor, right where you set up the Keo Perico heist, but you're gonna go forward and you will see the little scuba icon. What you'll have to do, you need to go right by the scuba icon and then equip the outfit and then click right on the D-pad to equip scuba gear. Then go to secure surf, go management, go to styles, once to the right, once to the left. No, go once to the right, just once to the right and then remove the scuba. And you will see that you do have the invisible torso. It is fully permanent right now. If you have to rewatch that part, you could. It's totally fine. Um, very simple. I'll re-explain it again. You have to walk to the... It took me a couple of tries. It took me about four tries. I had to understand. Just go step by step. Listen to this very, very closely. Because if you get one thing wrong, it will not work. I kept getting it wrong. What you have to do is to walk by the, tele, by the scuba thing. You'll have to equip the outfit with your invisible torso, equip the scuba, register the CEO, go to style management, and go once to the right, stay like that, then back out of the menu, and then remove the scuba gear. And you will see that you have the invisible uh, torso. It's fully permanent, as you can see, it doesn't go away. I'm not in a job. This is a public, uh, or I think it's an invite only lobby. So, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, drop a like on it and subscribe to my channel. Here's some of the videos that will pop up on the screen, and I'll see you there. Peace.